Hi, everybody. I'm so glad to be at WLJC. And I want to tell you, if you are not a regular listener, please turn your television to this station and just leave it there. <laughs> That's the only thing I can say. But get, make sure that you call your friends, your neighbors. Who knows what you can't get them to do Maybe they can listen and they'll learn what God can do for them just by listening to this station. Thank you. This station's been on for 48 years and 31 with the television, and it's going to keep on going with your prayers and gifts. God bless you. Good evening and welcome to the service tonight. We really hope that you can stay uh, tuned in and uh, enjoy the service because uh, we believe you will. We've been praying for the Lord to bless you through the service. We appreciate all of you that have, uh, uh, have your dials turned this way tonight. Especially we want to greet those in the hospitals and the nursing homes and and if you're homebound, these services are especially for you. And uh, so we want you to know that we had you in mind when we planned these services. And so we uh, will be uh, including you in all of our prayers, and we hope that you will enjoy the service. Dottie has phone operators up there. Uh, Brother Cecil and some of his uh, church people are there. If you need to call, that'll be fine, and we will... Uh, we will agree with them. All right, we have some scripture we want to share. And this is Psalms 24. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. For he hath founded it upon the sea and established it upon the floods. Who shall ascend unto the hill of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? He that hath clean hands and a pure heart. He that hath not lifted up his soul into vanity, nor sworn deceitfully, he shall receive the blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is the generation of them that seek him and seek thy face, O Jacob, Selah. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O you gates, even lift them up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. The, he is the King of glory. Selah. Only 10 verses in Psalms 24, but it's a good song talking about, uh, about the Lord. And uh, so tonight, uh, before we go to prayer, we have uh, we have some prayer requests all already um, on hand. Uh, Fanny Anderson is in the hospital up at uh, the ARH at uh, Hazard, and she has pneumonia and is really pretty sick. She really needs her prayers, and also Chris Castle was scheduled to be here tonight, but he. Uh, I got a call that his aunt is, I believe her name is Joyce, is in the hospital in ICU. And uh, so he could not make it tonight. But there's a lot of sick people. And we just want you to know that the Lord knows all about you. He knows where you are and he knows what's going on with you. Now it's hard to explain why 
that we don't get our healings when we want it and right then, but just remember that the Lord works with eternity in mind, and he knows how and when to heal us, and because what, what goes on with us, he wants it for his glory. So that's why we must really dedicate ourselves to the Lord, uh, and then, then we can believe him for what we need. All right, let's, let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we do thank you that you are the king of glory and that you are our king. And we thank you, Lord, that you know all about each of us. There's no secrets from you because you know what we're going to say before we say it. You know what we think, every thought that goes through our head. You know what our next actions are going to be. You know all about us, but yet you love us, and you remember that we're made of dust. And so, Father, tonight, for all the people that are so sick in the hospitals, in the nursing homes, and in their private homes, they're sick, the pains are, are really strong, and they're, they're discouraged, and they need help from you. So we ask for anointing to come their way, help them. Help their faith to be up to where they can just reach out and receive what you have for them. Most of all, Father, if they're not saved, if they have never accepted Jesus, that this will happen tonight. And so, Lord, we ask you for a special blessing on on uh, every part of the service, on the phone operators, and all those that will be calling. And, Father, we thank you for your love for each of us and that how that you want what is good for us. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, we, uh, we have, uh, if you have your little newsletter, you will see that it's uh, Don Lovins and Friends. And, and so the, the prettiest friend of all is out front to sing for us first, and that's little Miss Paige Baker. So she's going to sing for us right now.
job, Sister Paige. Ain't she a blessing? We get so many, we get so many, um, amen, folks that uh, just tell us how much that they love to hear little Paige down here. Amen. We've got um, my daughter back here with me tonight and Brother David Baker. It's Paige's daddy. Some of you have asked me uh, 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 who's uh, the father of Paige and David Baker and his wife Rosie's with us tonight in the audience. We, we love them tonight. Appreciate them. And Brother Don Lovins and friends, we are tonight, Brother Don. And Brother Bill Kincaid over here tonight. But uh, I'm Brother Jim Smith, so I'm going to let uh, Jessica, my daughter, tonight. Uh, she's not been with us in a while, but we're glad to have her tonight. We're glad to be here. I was glad I could get off work to come. I love to do what I can do for the Lord tonight. Just pray for me and my family. I'm going to do uh, The King is Gone. Brother Dog. King is gone, but he's coming back. Hey, we'd like to tonight recognize a few folks. Um, we've got uh, J.C. Henson I work with. I hope, J.C., you're watching tonight. Scott and Tammy Brock. J.C.'s from Clay County. Scott and Tammy Brock's from Leslie County tonight. They're watching. And, um, and uh, from Brother Don Lovins and Brother Jim Smith tonight, Joe Asher, our county judge tonight, my boss over there at the county garage. We send this out, a big one to him tonight. Larry Bird, you're watching tonight. Well, hopefully we, we will send this out to you and your family tonight. So we, we got some more dedication here in just a little bit. We'll send out, but I um, um, want to do, uh, do this next song here. It's called Prayer Changes Things in the Key of G's name. Well, I know prayer 
prayer changes things. I know a prayer. Changes things. Changes things. When I get down on my knees, I cry, Lord, help me please. I know prayer, prayer changes things. Well, you know prayer, you know prayer changes things. Prayer changes things. Well, you know prayer, you know prayer changes things. Prayer changes things. Thanks, Sister Margaret. The Lord's healed her body so many times. He's 
Amen. He saved us, amen, from a devil's hell over 25 years ago. David said, amen, the book of Psalms. He said, I waited patiently upon the Lord, and he brought me out of the miry clay. Aren't you glad, friend, tonight? Whatever, amen, tonight you need, friend. Amen. You're watching, amen, tonight the, the anointing of the Lord Jesus Christ coming through the airwaves tonight from WLJC. That's the hour of harvest. Amen. Jesus tonight is wanting to bless you. He's wanting to pour you out a blessing tonight that your cup just runneth over. Look to the hills, David said. It, honey, of where my head's, which my help cometh from. My help tonight, amen, is not in the government. Amen. My help tonight, amen, is in Jesus. Amen. Friend, turn to him tonight. Talk to him tonight. He loves you. Pray to him tonight. He'll save your soul. The Bible said, Whoever, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Oh, Satan tried to tell me I only thought I got saved And he tells me what a fool that I've been But when my mind goes back to that old heart Where I prayed and I know that I've been born again Oh, born again and free from sin and blindness and day Long the way my faith has grew dim and trouble seems to rise on every hand. But when I feel away, pray, the answer's my plea if my ever need be understand. Oh, Amen. Wonderful job, Brother David. Hey, we've got a good friend with us tonight from Lexington, uh, Brother Mike Mobley. Brother Mike, come right on up, brother, and he's going to bring us a couple songs tonight, maybe a testimony, but happy to see Brother Mike with us tonight. I'm glad to be here. I want to thank Brother Don for inviting me. I'm going to try to sing with these musicians. Brother Jimmy gets happy over on that on that. <laughs> piano over there. I thought he was going to get up and start shouting there for a minute. But I'm sure glad to be here. But the main thing, if you don't know Jesus as your personal Savior, that would be a good night to go to get. Just going to share a song with you now and then maybe one later after the break. First one's going to be called, says, there will there be any stars in my crown. I am saying in today of that beautiful land I shall reach when the sun goeth down when through wonderful grace by my Savior I stand will there be in my crown will there be any stars in 
when it's dark then my crown when at evening the sun goeth down when I wake with the blood in those mansions of red will there be any in my crown, brother Don. In the strength of the Lord, let me labor and pray. Let me watch as the In that glorious day When his praise like the sea Billows Will there be any star Any star in my crown When at evening the sun goes down When I wake with the blood in the mansion of red, will there be any stars in my crown? In the city of gold, should there be any stars in my crown? Will there be any stars, any stars in my crown when at evening the sun goes? but to the Lord. Just yes,
Good praying, Brother Don. The song is, I shall not be moved.
right, we're going to give them a little break, and they'll have some more songs ready for us really quick. Uh, we might mention, I, f I forgot to at the beginning, that Lonnie uh, Levins is uh, not here again tonight. He had a doctor's appointment and did not, uh, did not uh, get through in time. And also Chris Castle was scheduled to be here, and he uh, had a relative that real sick and had to... Uh, Missed tonight, so uh, but we have Bill uh, Kincaid back. He's been uh, he's been missing for several times because he's been a little under the weather. But he grew him a good garden of tomatoes, and he's been supplying everybody with tomatoes. So uh, he's better, and he's back tonight. So we're happy to have him. All right, a lady from uh, London has called and wanted to tell Phyllis Baker how. Blessed she was by uh, Paige's uh, singing, her little granddaughter. And I, I believe that uh, Phyllis is really happy about that. From Whitesburg, uh, Linda has called in $10 in honor of the little girl that was singing. That little girl's name is Paige. Sweet little girl. All right, we have some prayer requests that uh, uh, coming uh, Coming up, and the mother has called for her son, Christopher, that in up in Ohio that's going for a job interview tomorrow and wanted everybody to pray about it. And also from Lewis County uh, for a family that was in an, an accident and the little five-year-old's uh, funeral is tomorrow. Uh, and from Pike County, Robert is in the hospital. From Breathitt County, a man... Uh, has been burned by an aerosol can exploded and burned him on his uh, body. Uh, from Virginia, uh, Mark has leukemia. From Knott County, a 16-year-old uh, niece, uh, she has brain cancer, and she's in the Children's Cancer Center at UK. She's already had four surgeries and also for a brother that's in the hospital that's 13 years old. We have, uh, we have more requests. We'll be taking care of all these, but I tell you, uh, the next song that they do, we'll dedicate it to uh, uh, Fanny Anderson that's in the Hazard Hospital because that's Don and Lonnie's uh, aunt, and uh, she, uh, she has been here to sing, and so we're sorry that she's under the weather right now, but uh, just keep praying for Fanny. And so the next song will be for her. So uh, I believe they've got some more lined out. So we'll just uh, go right back and uh, see uh, what's uh, who's going to sing. All right. There was a straight way. Got no crooks in the bed. Got to get on with my Jesus. He is my best friend. Enemies all around me. Tears fill my heart. Bow down with my bend and knees and highs with the sound. Cause I'm going on with my Jesus just the same. Going on with my Jesus just the same. You can't fall. Talk about me when I shout. There's one thing for sure. I know what I'm shouting about. Satan tried to stop me and put stumbling blocks in my way. Bow down from my bending knees and these words I say. Cause I'm going on with my Jesus just the same. Going on with my Jesus just the same. You can't fall up to I'm all going on for my Jesus this is so. There might be places that I cannot go. 
happy things that I sure don't know. But there is one thing that I do know, and I've got Jesus and He's living in my soul. I'm going on with my Jesus just the same. Going on with my Jesus just the same. And you can't fall or accuse me, scandalize my name. But I'll be a going on with my Jesus just the same. David Baker. I'm going on with my Jesus just the same. Going on with my Jesus just the same. You can't fall or kiss me, scandalize my day. But I'll be here going on with my Jesus just the same. Hallelujah. Anybody feeling that tonight in the, in the church? Praise the Lord. Put your hands together tonight. Amen. Stomp your feet and praise the Lord tonight. Let every, everything that has breath, breath tonight praise the Lord. Hey, we're going to give out another big shout out tonight. Amen to um, Frank um, and his wife, Malvery. These folks live down in Oneida, Kentucky, along with Chester Barrett. We saw Chester up at town one day, and he said, Brother Jimmy, when you go back down to w, WLJC, sing, send me out a song. So, Les Couch, Car, Carter, and Joyce Step, we send this out to you folks tonight. So, we're going to do this one here, then we're going to get Brother Mike Mobley back there. Listen to the words of this song. It's an old Spencer song called Praying. Hope you get a blessing from it. Not long ago, I was staying in a home. But I wondered if Mama was there all alone. I thought I'd drop by as I had before, but the sound from within made me stop at the door. She was praying a sound that the world still could Praying, her words were pleading at me. The sound of her voice, she spoke my name, brought tears to my eyes. She spoke. Someone like me. Here's my good friend, Brother Don. I was walking one night. I felt so alone. Oh, my heart was so heavy. From the trouble I know, I had noticed a church that was near 
spoke a sound from within. He defeated the air. They were praying a sound that the world still can hear. Praying the children that God loves so dear. See, long, long ago, friend, I was thinking of home. You know, I wondered if my mama was there all alone. I thought I'd drop by as I had done many times. Oh, but the sound. From within, seemed to stop me at the door. This is what she was doing. She was praying a sound that the world still doesn't hear. Oh, praying her words were pleading and so. The sound of her voice, she spoke my name, brought tears to my eyes, my heart filled with shame, oh pray, pray for someone like me, pray. tonight, Mom. I love all the moms tonight. This is for all the moms tonight watching in. Praise the Lord. Brother Michael, Brother Mike Mobley, one more time. Come on, Brother Mike. Amen. We all need prayer, don't we? Yes, Amen. Amen. Just give a little plug out to our church before we get started here. If you don't have a home church, and you live in Lexington or right around the corner, Anywhere close, just come to Revival Tabernacle, 1820 Versailles Road, Lexington, Kentucky. Brother Gary Ward, I think he'll bless your heart with his message. Amen. says, there's a light at the river. There's a deep, silent river flowing just beyond, and its waters are deep and wide. It's as dark as but my eyes see a light just down by the river's side. There's a light at the river, a light at the river, a light at the river I can see. My Lord will stand and hold in his hand a light at the river for me. This my good friend, Brother Dawson. To this deep, silent river I have come on my knees. I'm afraid for I know I've sinned. But the beckon and light lead me on through the night to the water where my soul may be cleansed. There's a light at the river, a light at the river, a light at the river I can see. Light at the river for me. Well 
I can hear his voice saying, come on to me, dip your wings in the misty tide. Then we'll pass o'er deep and you'll never more weep in your home on the other side. There's a light at the river, a light at the river, a light at Mike uh, Mobley tonight. What a blessing he's been. We used to watch him years ago. I remember my father-in-law on Sunday morning, Brother Don, early at Praise the Lord Breakfast there, we'd watch uh, Brother Byram, 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 Byram Jessups. Yeah, hey, hey, coming out of Lexington. Uh, we love to hear him. We, we, we just, it's been a blessing tonight, amen, and we just love to Love to bless you tonight, amen. We'd love to hear these good requests come in tonight. People getting saved, people getting healed. That's what it's all about. Getting ready for Jesus to come. I feel like, friend, we're living, amen, in the, in the coming of the Lord, Sister Margaret. I believe, amen, I believe, children, it's just it's just winding up, amen, tonight, honey. And amen, if you've made, if you've made that, uh, amen, that reservation tonight for heaven, yeah, you've made a wonderful choice tonight. Those of you tonight that have not yet called on the Lord, call on him because we don't have Brother Bill. We don't have a promise of tomorrow. Children, we can, we can, amen, the Lord could call us out of here at any time, so please tonight call upon him if he's dealing with your heart tonight. I'd like to say tonight, before we go to another song, we'd like to dedicate this tonight to our church, Jack's Branch Bible Church. We'll be having cemetery service this Sunday at the Treadway uh, Cemetery over there on Jack's Branch, uh, 10 o'clock, and uh, church at 11 on cemetery. And then after that, they're going, we're going to have a covered dish of dinner at the church, so everybody's welcome to come. There will be no Sunday night service, but uh, we're getting ready to baptize about seven or eight, maybe ten folks I, that I know of in our church and Sunday or uh, vacation Bible school. We had 31 children give their heart to the Lord, Sister Margaret. 31. You heard me right. We had 31 children, young children. My grandson was one of them, six years old, little all the way down to little boys and girls up to 16-year-old Brooke. Amen. Come up there. 31 children, Brother Bill, give their heart to the Lord. Jack's Branch Bible Church, if you don't have a church, come and try us out. Sunday school at 10 o'clock. man asked me yesterday. He said, Preacher, do you have Sunday school? We have Sunday school for the children, Sunday school for the adults. Wonderful Sunday school. Come and check us out. We'd love to have you. Amen. Uh, 11 o'clock worship service sister margaret sunday night six o'clock brother don and uh, brother david baker and brother don I, my daughter back here and brother bill they've just all good friends of mine and come be with us when they can and we love them uh and uh thursday nights at seven o'clock so what we got They some folks tonight. If I go back home, Sister Margaret, they 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 go. They said you better do washboard for, for us. So this is for some of you you folks out there. How many of you know know tonight what a washboard is? Amen. I've seen my mother-in-law and some of my ancestors wash on those washboards. Don said that uh, he couldn't get uh, Sister Margaret to wash his pants. <laughs> washboard but this is a good old song sister Margaret we, we love sister Margaret we've missed these folks we didn't get to come down last month cause of sickness and things but it's been a homecoming for me tonight you you might say well brother Jimmy seems like he's happy tonight I'm happy I feel at home here at WLJC amen I tell you I wouldn't take nothing tonight for what I've got in the Lord Jesus Christ friend how many knows tonight God's people are happy sometimes my mind goes back to the place where I used to pray when my mind goes back, I can hear my mother pray. She kneeled down by the big rock where she used to wash our clothes. Then I'd hear my mother, she started pouring out her soul. Thank you, God, for my children. Thank you, God, oh, for their dad. I thank you 
dog Oh, this old washboard It helps me burn the money To buy my children bread Here's Brother Don I remember one time Laying down in the creek I just caught me an old water dog Heard my mother scream Well, I ran as fast as I could Grabbed her by the arm She didn't even know that I was there She was busy praising God Thank you, God, for my children Thank you, God, oh, for their dad I thank you, God this old washboard, it helps me earn the money, buy my children bread. One more time, here's a good friend, Brother Don, tonight. That's the old washboard song tonight. Praise the Lord, David, you've been good. We appreciate uh, Brother Bill Kincaid. We've missed Brother Bill. Bill, how are you tonight? the Lord. Glad to have Brother Bill. All the good Amen. Amen, Brother Bill. Never yes, made it at all. I just like to say when Come on, Brother Bill. Say the great day of the Lord Come on, Bill. Yes. Come yes. Church, you yes. are called. It is absolutely that day. It's the great day of church you ever say for a year. The Saturday day of church to get in and I don't see how anybody can get back there. Come on, Brother Bill. Amen. Amen. I just don't. I can't understand it. But I couldn't make it to one Baptist mission without the church. And I just thank the Lord for sending us to Brother Don to do this. He's been a good friend of mine. And I feel so unworthy to bring all this love and mercy and grace. And I sure thank you for that. Oh, it is going to be a good day. Praise the Lord. And I, I'm I just want to say the thing I'd like to bring to you, the brothers and sisters, and worship God together. Thank you. Thank you, Brother Jim. Oh, I guess I just had to testify a little bit. I can't sing no more, Brother Jim. Never was much of a singer, but now I can't do nothing. Oh, he is mine, he is mine, I got joy in my soul, I got peace in my mind, he is mine, oh, he is mine, my Jesus, I know he is mine, he saved me when I was lost. He saved me when I was lost. I got joy in my soul. I got peace in my mind. He saved me when I was lost. He saved me when I was lost. My Jesus, I know He is mine. Oh, He is mine. Oh, He is mine. I got joy in my soul. I got peace in my mind. He is Oh, he is mine, my Jesus, I know he is mine. Oh, he healed me when I sick, he healed me when I sick. I got joy in my soul, I got peace in my mind. Heal me when I sick, he healed me when I sick. Oh, my Jesus, I know he is mine. He is mine. Oh, he is mine. I got joy in my soul. I got peace in my mind. He is mine. Oh, he is mine. And my Jesus, I know he is mine. Oh, he's coming back again. 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 He's
coming back again. I've got joy in my soul. I've got peace in my mind. He's coming back again. He's coming back again. And my Jesus, I know he is mine. Oh, he is mine. Oh, he is mine. I've got joy in my soul. I've got peace in my mind. Oh, he is mine. Oh, he is mine, and my Jesus, I know he is mine. Brother David Baker. Oh, he is mine. Oh, he is mine. I've got joy in my soul. I've got peace in my mind. He is mine. Oh, he is mine. And my Jesus, I know he is I think, David, did we send Phyllis out there tonight? Sister Phyllis, Sister Phyllis Baker. Amen. We better send Sister Phyllis out. Yes. Sister, where are the children? Where are the children? I'm going to send this out tonight to everybody watching. Uh, I just thank the Lord. You know, I had a Christian home growing up. My mom and dad would take me to church, you know, when I was a little girl. I'm just thankful I know the right way. You know, if you've got little kids out there and you don't take them to church, you need to let them take them to Sunday school. You know, there's... Times are getting so bad. I thank God for saving me and for my little family. I went to church again today. I looked at all the fine array. Not too many little faces. Did I see? They must be taught from the start. They must have Jesus in their hearts. Oh, where are the children? Where are the children? Every day 
When we get to heaven and we look around, will our children there be found? Oh, where are the children? Cry for the children. Is Satan stealing them away? Are we too blind to see today? Oh, where are the children? Remember Jesus said it best. When I return, will I find faith? Oh, where are the children? I've learned learned to lean on Jesus. I've learned to lean on Jesus.
ready to leave. Well, oh, Jesus. There you have Don Levins and friends, and we're, I believe that'll be all the time we have for songs and uh, for tonight, but we do have time for prayer for the request as uh, Pastor Jim makes his way up here. Well, we'll, uh, we'll uh, do that. Walker and Bessie Pointer of uh, Pulaski County needs prayer. They've been here before uh, to visit, and uh, he is having surgery, and so they need prayer. Uh, Christine from Knott County has cancer and needs prayer. Uh, a mother has called for a daughter that is really sick uh, from Letcher County. Prayers are needed for a family uh, that needs healing and salvation. Here's a lady that had been calling for her son to get back to work and said he's finally gone back to work because WRJC had been praying. Ernie uh, from Jackson needs, needs prayer. All right, from Sayersville, BJ is a f call for his aunt that's really sick. Uh, Mo has been in an accident and uh, needs prayer. Jim, I'll let you rejoice on that. Now, you're... Have to kind of make the best of the the spelling there. Okay, uh, Sister Margaret, appreciate the Lord tonight. Amen. Praise the Lord, uh, James. Um, he's give his heart tonight to the Lord from Mount Sterling. Praise the Lord. Amen. <laughs> Another salvation report tonight. Denzel from Madison tonight. Give his heart tonight to the Lord. Amen. That's what it's all about, yeah. children. Amen. We've got uh, Eliza. Uh, amen. Uh, let's see. Uh, Win Winnie, I'm sorry. Winnie tonight has been saved. Winnie, God bless you tonight. Praise the Lord. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. All right. Well, we have, uh, Ruth, you have time for a few, yeah. few to read. Okay. I've got, uh, I've got a mother that's called in for her, uh, for her, say, called in by the daughter, a mother, 
It's in Corbin. She's in a wheelchair and she can't walk. She has congestive heart failure. And I prayer for uh, a, for Delmas from Williamsburg. Can't, doctor can't find out what's wrong with him with her. She's very weak. And prayer for Clara from Floyd County. She has Parkinson's. Okay. And then there's a prayer prayer for Ronald. Called in by his mother, Don, Donna. He's from Perry. And he has stomach issues and he's in severe pain. Okay. And that's all the ones I got right now. All right. Uh, we have uh, some emails in here from Hazard for a Mr. McGee that's in the hospital really needing prayer and also one from Richmond uh, that uh, for the entire family. Well, uh, we have uh, been reading over all these and praying over them and so we're going to ask uh, uh, Ruth and Jim to anoint these and, and lead us in prayer and we'll pray with them but then it's your faith that's going to get you to uh, uh, receive what you, what you need. Okay. Jim, whatever you have to say. Go ahead. Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you tonight, Lord, for these souls that's been saved. We yes, thank Lord. you for the ones that we, maybe we didn't hear about tonight. The Lord mm -hmm. is written in the Lamb's Book of Life also. We thank you, Lord, tonight for the many healings. For, Lord, we know, Lord, that the anointing has went out. We know, Lord, that the power of God tonight breaks the very yoke of bondage tonight. Yes, Lord. Lord, we thank you tonight, Lord God, for your grace is sufficient, Lord, tonight, the peace, the mercy, Lord, that you give us, Lord, and Lord, the love. And we just pray, Lord, tonight for the hospitals, Lord, these tonight that are uh, seeking he he healing, mm -hmm. these tonight, Lord, that are wounded by your transgressions, bruised for iniquities, chastised of your peace was upon them, and by your stripes, Lord, is each and every one tonight, Lord, at home, those that didn't call, those that's called in, each and request in this, on this Bible tonight, Lord. Lord, uh, by your stripes are they made healed. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. Lord, you sent your word. Lord, as a light, as a lamp unto our feet, Lord, Father, for a path. Father, we're looking tonight, to Lord, through the light of Jesus. Lord, heal, Lord, and set free, Lord, tonight those that are in bondage of the devil tonight, Lord. Save the souls, Lord, of many, Lord, that will call upon you through and out tonight and in the morning as they watch this service, Lord. Just, Lord, just remind them, Lord, they can always call upon you, Father, Lord, for you said whosoever will call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Yes. Bless the viewers. Bless Sister Margaret. Bless the hour of harvest. For, Lord, we know the time is yes. surely, Lord, getting close to the coming yes. of the Lord. Lord, and Lord, we pray everyone, Lord, will, will Lord, will, will just, Lord, will enter in, and Lord, then we'll hear you say, welcome into the joys of the Lord. Yes. Oh, you've been faithful over a few things. Lord, we love you tonight. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 All right. Uh, real quick, like, Jim, you want to touch on, on the, the location of your church? Well, uh, uh, the location of our church, Sister Margaret, once again, we're located just conveniently in Manchester, just about seven miles uh, from the first red light there to the four lane uh, in Manchester. It's uh, Jack's Branch Road. Uh, you can find us very easily. Uh, it's uh, uh, 3477, I think it is, right there, right across from Save a Lot at Fall Rock, just 2.7 miles. Uh, if you want, if you're looking, friend, from where the Word of God is being preached from the pulpit, an old-fashioned, it's still an old-fashioned message from the King James Version. We still sing the old Southern Gospel songs. Uh, amen. Nothing wrong with the contemporary style, but we still believe, we still believe in the old traditional Southern style gospel. It's all it's always the good news of the gospel, the King James Version. Amen. That we love, and God is is just dealt with our hearts uh, with tonight. So we love you. We Sunday school at 10 a.m. on Sunday morning again. And uh, we have a children's Sunday school classes, just wonderful teachers there, de uh, dedicated people, uh, 11, 10.30 adult Sunday school and 11 o'clock a.m. Sister Margaret church worship service uh, come and, and 6 p.m. on Sunday night and my Lord and 7 p.m. on Thursday night and I know they're going to be blessed if they come. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yes. All right. Uh, Ruth, you have anything? Okay. Um, has school started back over there yet? It starts back Monday for me, and then it starts back Tuesday for the kids. Okay. I've just had meetings and stuff I've been having to go to. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So we're all getting ready to go back to school. Okay. <laughs> ready to hit it. 
All right. Well, that's good. Uh, this year has gone so fast. Everyone's uh, so fast. shaking their head. Just so uh, where has it gone? But you know that just means that all that we did not get to done is as is now an unfinished task. And you know that that song I used to hear about don't let me leave behind an unfinished task. And so we need to work while we can because opportunity won't always be there. And so we need to do everything we can to win souls, to encourage those that's on the way and pray for the ones that's not ready to meet him to accept him. Well, it looks like our time is come and gone for another night. Appreciate each of you that has been with us. And so from all of us here in the studio, we want to say good night and God bless you. WLJC programs, including the live WLJC chapel service, are brought to you through your contributions of support to Hour of Harvest Incorporated. All contributions made to WLJC are eligible for income tax deductions. Thanks to all who support us. Without you, our programming would not be possible. If you would like to join our mailing list to receive our free monthly newsletter to keep you informed of what's happening at WLJC, along with our monthly guest list, give us a call at 606-464-3600 or write to us, WLJC, P.O. Box Y, Beattyville, Kentucky, 41311. Or if you would like to join our email list, log on to www.wljc.com and sign up today. It's so easy and it's free. Despairing heart, silent cry.